and welcome back to our live lessons. We took a bit of a break over Christmas and New Year, um, but you're very welcome back. And in today's lesson, what we're going to look at is the pros and cons of computer-delivered IELTS. So recently, IELTS as an organization, IDP, the British Council, have uh, started to offer the IELTS test on a computer. So this is, affects the writing test, the reading test, and the listening test. The speaking test is still going to remain the same for now, uh, where you'll just speak to a human being. But for the listening, reading, and writing test, you will now be given the option, it's only an option uh, in most places, to do it on a computer. In some countries, they still have just the traditional pen and paper method, um, but in a lot of countries now, they have the choice to do it either on a computer or on a piece of paper and pen. So we've got a huge number of questions from people asking uh, the pros and cons, basically. If you want to get more information about what it is and on the different changes, go to either the IDP website or the British Council website. They've got a lot of information there. But what people who have been emailing us have really been asking is, which is better? What are the pros and cons? What are the positives and negatives? Um, because it's not all just good. Um, it depends on a lot of different factors and you're going to have to think about these things before you decide which test to do. So what we did was we asked all of our students, um, so the students in our VIP group who have already done the computer-based test to give us feedback and it was very, very mixed. A lot of people said they really, really preferred uh, the new computer-based one and a lot of people didn't like it at all and really preferred preferred the traditional one. Um, so let's look at these and then you can decide. And we'll also answer the number one question that a lot of people have been asking, which is it going to help improve my scores? Do I have a better chance of getting a higher score with one or the other? So we'll answer that at the end. So let's talk about the good things. Um, so many people, and not all, but many people talked about that it makes writing easier. So it doesn't make writing easier as in you will get a higher score. But what they talked about was the fact that they can edit everything. Um, so when you have you know, a pen and a piece of paper, you can edit stuff, um, but it's a little bit more difficult than typing. Because with typing, you can reorganize paragraphs, edit, um, you know, delete whole sentences or parts of sentences, just like you would if you're typing on like a Microsoft Word document. Um, so a lot of people are used to that and they find that much, much easier to organize everything. And a lot of people talked about um, that in their day-to-day -day job or when they are students and they're doing this normally, that they just find the process of writing much, much easier with a, um, on a computer screen. Um, not everybody said that. Some people said they find it much, much easier to actually sit down with a piece of paper and write there. But I'd say the majority of people said that this was the number one thing that was beneficial about the computer-based one. Other pros, word count, so it's on a computer screen when it counts the number of words, so you don't have to worry about that. A lot of people do worry about that, whether they are over the required word limit, so it's just one less thing to worry about and think about. One really significant thing is with the computer-based test, the test centers, a lot of people said that they were less crowded, they were more organized. Some people said even the staff were more organized and friendlier and it just was, there was less distractions. And a lot of people talked about with the traditional test, it's badly organized, that it's crowded, that the staff are not good. And my wife did the IELTS test probably about a year ago and I've worked obviously in IELTS test centers and one of the things that they really do need to work on in a lot of centers is that they are disorganized and the staff are not as helpful and polite as they should be. Um, but a lot of people talked about that the test centers for the computer-based ones were much, much, much better. I don't know whether that's going to give you an edge or but stress does play a big part for a lot of people so uh, if you find uh, that the traditional one that it's just really really distracting and crowded and stressful maybe try the, the uh, computer-based one handwriting um, a lot of people have terrible handwriting um, 
me, for, for example, as you can see on the board. Um, but a lot of people have a problem that their, their handwriting is so bad that it actually lowers their score because the examiner cannot read a lot of or all of what they're writing. Um, we've got a lot of doctors in our VIP course um, and this seems to be a trend with doctors that they just um, have terrible handwriting for a lot of them. Um, so if handwriting is a real, real problem for you, then the computer delivered one um, might be better. A lot of people also commented about the, the results are much faster. I think they're about four or five days faster than the traditional one. Um, so this is an advantage for those students. We've got some students who like to, instead of just doing one test and then waiting for the results, um, what they'll do is they'll do multiple tests um, or this kind of solves that problem because they only have to wait sort of five, six days for the results and then they can decide to just go and do another one. Um, not all students have the money to do that um, or want to do that, but uh, you know, IELTS results do vary and they should be the same all the time, but they do vary because of human performance um, most of the time. So let's go on to the cons, so the negatives. A lot of people talked about the fact that they can't draw on the page or highlight or make notes because it's on a screen. So some people talked about task one academic where you get you know, bar charts and line graphs and things like that, that a lot of people like to draw on them and draw arrows and annotate them. Uh, and you can't do that, uh, obviously, on the screen. A lot of people talked about the listening test, that it was really difficult because they couldn't highlight keywords and they couldn't look back and that the, the format, because it's on a screen, it made listening a lot more difficult. Not everybody said that, but a, but a significant number of people did say that. And just not being able to make quick notes and highlight and all of those different things. And um, I believe that you will be given paper so that you can you know, draw a plan out for writing. I don't know 100% sure whether that's the case in every single test center. In my experience, you know, some of them do, some of them, they vary in, in you know, the service that they give. Um, so check with your local test center because that, I think that could be a significant thing for a lot of people who are used to, you know, it's their habit to be highlighting stuff and drawing stuff and writing stuff and then they, they get in there and it's a computer and they, they, they can't do that and it kind of puts them off. A lot of people talked about the fact that you have to look at a screen for a number of hours and that can be very tiring and their eyes were getting sore or their brain was just um, stopped, stopped working. Um, some people find it really easy to, for example, read a book because you're just looking at paper but to look at a screen for a long time that they find that there's a fatigue comes in. So some people are the opposite. Some people like, you know, can't just sit and focus on a piece of paper or a book, but they can look at a screen, no problem. Um, one student talked about where the fact that you, when you're in the test center and you're doing the writing test, you can hear everybody typing and maybe <laughs> there were some loud typers um, but personally, I find that really, really annoying when you get, especially people who have Apple, is it MacBooks or what is it, uh, the other one? Um. If you've ever sitting, been in the same room as someone who has one of the, it's a particular type of MacBook, but it's like click, 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 click. But she said the same thing. You, you don't have a, you're obviously not doing it on, a, on an Apple. Um, but she said there were people who were typing very loudly and it was really, really distracting. I don't know if that's the case for everybody, but that would put me off. Because of, um, some people thrive in a noisy environment. Some people like me need absolute silence in order to focus and concentrate. Uh, cons, a lot of people said that they were not comfortable typing, that they, are, they can write better on a pen and a piece of paper. So some people said typing is better. Some people said handwriting is better. It, that's a total personal thing, I think. Um, and it just depends on your own experience. Um, significantly, a lot of people said that there were not enough practice questions, uh, particularly for listening and reading, that they would like a lot more practice questions. I, I can kind of understand this because Cambridge who make the test, the reading test and the listening test, they take a very, very, very long time to make everything. Um, some, I was actually talking to someone who designed tests for Cambridge and they said it would take 
two years to create one question, which I find unbelievable, but that's, that's the way they do it. Um, so probably there will be more questions in the future, but for now there are not that many practice questions. So you'll have to stick to good old paper before you do that. Um, some people just said that they are not comfortable with computers at all. Um, they do not want to use a computer. They're very, very comfortable with paper. Other people said, no, I'm far more comfortable with the computer because I use it day to day. And that's, so I think it's really just a personal choice. So I'd say if try it out, if you're used to paper and you really like that, then I would go with that. If you're used to computers, I'd go with that. Um, I think the most significant pro would be if you find writing easier on a screen and you can edit everything and you can see the word count and all, I think that is the most significant thing, but it's not going to drastically, it's not going to improve your band score um, just because you can edit better. So question, will it help me? Will it help me improve my score? No. All right. And so not only is that a silly thing to think, but there have been studies done on it. IELTS don't make decisions like this without doing a lot of research first. And there's actually a research paper, which you can look up online, where they, uh, they compared hundreds of people doing the same test, one on a computer, one on paper, and they find no difference in, in terms of scores whatsoever. So a lot of people have been emailing us basically saying, I've been failing the test many, many times, especially writing. If I do it on a computer, is that going to increase my score? No. If you don't do anything to improve your writing, if you don't do anything to improve your English, whether you do it on a computer or a piece of paper is going to make no difference whatsoever.